Hello dear friends, Happy Life, chapter 156. We read uh, 56 yesterday, but the wrong chapter. So today we are doing the right one for you. Make it a habit to tell the truth. The white lie habit is a gateway to more serious ones, pushing you towards the quagmire of libel and slander. A single spark produces the same blaze as a crackling fame, flame. Major crimes begin as mixed manners, overlooked by justice, which make for a more severe offense. Be morally demanding of yourself. Don't climb into the boat of general conventions. Every person must answer for him or herself, and each deed leaves a mark on the conscience. Don't stop being yourself as you morally progress. Very, very important reminder for us today, as we know that the only way of enjoying happiness, no matter where you are on earth, outside of the body, inside of the body, is by being righteous in the sense of following God's laws, doing the right thing. And the right thing is the right thing. There's nothing outside of that. Any deviation, it's already, um, no matter, what it is or the proportion, how big, how small, is a deviation. There's no two ways about it. So a lot of times we give ourselves permission for small infractions. We condemn the ones who are doing the big errors. They're publicly exposed and yet a lot of times the same things that we are being um, severe judges of others' lives and uh, others' behaviors, choices, and attitudes. We are doing at a smaller scale in our daily lives. That's one thing. And the other thing is that um, a lot of times that's how things start. They start small. They start by yielding to little behaviors. They're not, and we know that, they're not upright. They're not um, in accordance to what we know to be the straight path, right? So, like she says, major crimes begin with little infractions. That at first is, eh, not much of anything, but gradually you, you give yourself, you, you, we come up with um, excuses and justifications for different types of infractions for different type types of ways of going around the law whether we're talking about human law or God's laws. Jesus was very very um, clear when he said to give to Caesar whatever belongs to Caesar and gives to God whatever belongs to God meaning seeking to be righteous in every single aspect of our lives. If the law demands such a thing we must comply with the law this is what uh, will bring peace of consciousness and this is where happiness lies. There's a question in the Spirit's book 614, if I'm not mistaken, about the divine and natural laws that says that the only, the only, the key for happiness is the fulfillment of God's laws, doing the right thing. There's no happiness outside of that and she reminds us that even like the smaller deviations will mark our consciousness, will stay with us. So perhaps that's not a big deal, but given our human condition, we're all tempted from time to time to kind of, kind of, you know, do things in certain ways that we know not to be the, the most correct one. And here the book is about happy life, right? So if you are listening to this, if you're seeking a happier life, it, sometimes it's not about huge changes, but those little changes in our daily lives can make a huge difference at the end of the day because, again, when you go to bed and you put your head on the pillow and there's nothing, nothing, there's not one stain, there's nothing in your behavior, nothing hanging, not, nothing adding to your emotional economy in the sense of like uh, a burden, then this, this is happiness. 
this is true happiness peace of mind a light heart a light soul and the ability to say dear god i did everything that i could as righteously and as loving as i could in this day that's what i wish for you today have a great day